So first of all, Happy New Year everyone, hope you had a good one and may this decade be a better one. With that out of the way, I want to give you a no bullshit list of servants you have to roll in 2020. Now you might think, what credential does this guy have to give me a list of servants I have to roll when there's already like a gazillion video about this topic already on YouTube? Well, I'm glad you asked. So I'm a dolphin who spent 200 bucks on a single banner and I ended up with a spook and 7 5 star even CE. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get onto the list. Oh, and by the way, the list goes in order from the start to the end of 2020, so it's not actually ranked. Okay, number one. Katsuka Hokusai, aka the loot dungeon artist. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And I'm not talking about summoning him, I'm talking about her. Yes, her. So why should you summon her, y'all? <laughs> and her NP animation is amazing. I mean, I could look at that all day. Also, if you don't want to go to jail for summoning a lowly Kraken dance, Hark says it's an option for a 5 stars servant. Oh, and she also can 6 turn this uh, summer challenge quest, so maybe she's pretty decent. Number 2. Asagami Fujino, aka I'm the real veteran of this game, bro. Imagine two years later, you playing FGO with the casuals, and you can just flex having the rarest servant in the game. Yeah, for the exception of Anger Man you. Well, her stats kind of suck, but that's why there are game-breaking support in this game, dude. Number three, Okita Alter, aka Chocolate Killer. Now think about this. Season Okita. A saber face and an altar. Just pull her. I mean, she needs some kind of support to work, but eh. She's an Okita, a saber face and an altar. Precious must protect. Number four, Skasaha Skadi, aka everyone's go-to bitch. She can hold her wands or and lances while sucking dicks. Sixty-nine out of ten must roll. Oh, and she can help most of the quick NP servant to return some nodes. So this is kinda good gameplay wise. And number 5. Yu Miaoi, aka ASMR mom slash wife slash bitch. You hear that? That's the sound of heaven's bell ringing in my ding dong. This is a real waifu that actually has a husband though, so Neto Rare and Neto Ri is available. And the Does with glasses, like I'm sold dude, I'm done. Her style is kinda meh and her skill set aren't really reliable unless you level them up to level 10, but see someone else's waifu that you can take away. Glasses out of 10 will summon. So that was it. Servants you have to roll in 2020. Now you might ask me, but what about Luluch or Summer John or Summer BB? Now listen here, you goddamn better boost. You want me to tell you to summon dudes that won't suck your dick or appear in your dream to suck your dick? Support servants are the actual carry of the game. If you summon Merlin, Tamamo, Waver, and Scuddy, you can make almost all the servants somehow work, even Angra shit you. And summer servants are literally wearing a fucking summer swimsuit. What, you think they don't already win by default? Of course they're gonna be a must roll. I swear to god this plebs. Alright, <laughs> all jokes aside, just summon whoever you feel like summoning. Simply use your deck, but before that, if you want a smoother gameplay, summon all the necessary support servants first. That's gotta be it for me. See you next year. Hello guys, Dika here. Thanks for sticking until the end of the video. I'm just starting out so it will be really nice if you could just share this video with your online friend or your precious dog or something. Thank you for watching. Really. Thank you. I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye.